while a local organization is fighting back against a housing plan that was passed by the San Diego City Council last month. That ordinance would add more housing to areas within a mile of transit stations. Fox 5's Sarah Allegra is joining us live now from Mission Hills to explain exactly what this means, and she has details on this new lawsuit. Sarah. Kathleen Andrew, yes, yeah, some major changes coming to the city of San Diego that could lead to more construction of high density housing units like we've seen here in Mission Hills. But like you said, some people are fighting back against this. A local community organization is now suing the city, calling their plans irresponsible. It spreads density around. It's not a rational approach to urban planning. That's the focus centered around a newly filed lawsuit pushing back against the city. Tom Mullaney with Livable San Diego is behind it all. He claims the city is pursuing high density housing without proper planning and says buildings like this one in Mission Hills may become a common site. When I say it's, it's adding density everywhere, it is almost everywhere. The challenge comes after council's five to four approval of an ordinance back in February of sustainable development areas, otherwise known as SDAs. This allows for high density housing up to one mile from transit instead of half a mile. Mullaney worries the move could have adverse consequences. This is going to result in fewer people using mass transit because the developers will build farther away. They'll build where land is cheaper. So this is this is the anti-transit project that the city has approved. It's true that not everybody who lives in a sustainable development area is going to take transit, and not everybody who lives in a new project built under complete communities will take transit, but those programs apply in more compact neighborhoods that are closer to jobs and other amenities. Meanwhile, Jesse O'Sullivan with Circulate San Diego, a transportation-based nonprofit, says otherwise. Even people who drive will be driving shorter distances, which is good for our greenhouse gas emissions and uh, good for traffic. Fox 5 spoke to Council President Sean Ila Rivera after the February vote, who says the move could add an additional tens of thousands of new housing units over the next 10 years and could be a step forward in solving the city's housing crisis. It'll potentially be a big change, um, but we need to make it easier to build housing in San Diego. We are where we are with sky high rents, um, with folks falling into homelessness at a, at a rate far faster than we can uh, get folks back into housing. Now, the main motive of this lawsuit is essentially to put a hold on any future projects under the city's sustainable development areas program. Now, we reached out the, to the city for comment. They said they can't speak to it to any pending litigation, but did say that this is a way to offer more affordable housing to a city that desperately needs it. For now, that's the very latest here in Mission Hills. Sarah Allegre, Fox 5 News. All right.